Okay, let's have a look at how we can actually develop an algorithm to calculate the total cost of all your friends having a hot chocolate on a cold day. So first of all, we need to start with the start bubble. Now, we always start our program here. That way we know what we're doing and where we're going from. We need to be able to calculate the cost of all your friends having a chocolate. So therefore, we need to know how many friends you have. How many friends? Now, this is going to be an input, so therefore we are using the slanty box again, which is a parallelogram. Now, once we've got that, and we've got the answer to that, we can then calculate the total cost. So to do that, we can go total cost is equal to number of friends times cost of hot chocolate. Now this is going to be a processing box which is going to be a rectangle. So once again we're just going to draw a rectangle and make sure it does not look like a parallelogram and it's going to flow down. You should put arrows on to show the directional flow. Now once we've done that we then need to show the total cost. The program asks us to do this. So what we can then do is go display total cost. And because it's going to be a output box, once again, it's a parallelogram with the slanty sides. So you must remember all input and output are parallelograms. So this one here is an input. This one is an output. And all your processing boxes are a rectangle. Now the program asks us to develop an algorithm to calculate the total cost of all your friends having a hot chocolate on a cold day. How many friends do I have? I worked out the total cost and I display the total cost. So I've achieved the outcomes and what's required for the output of our program. Therefore, I can then stop. And that concludes our algorithm for this flowchart. Hope you found that useful. I wish you all your best in your algorithmic design.